you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. Welcome to the demonstration series for the Smart Zone controller based on a high scale deployment of the 5.2 Smart Zone release. The videos in this series will show the basic configuration of many aspects of the controller. In this video, I will show the process of moving APs from the Smart Zone staging zone to a demo zone. We will take a look at what happens to the APs after being placed into this zone from an LED, firmware, and AP configuration perspective. Let's get started. In a previous video, we took a look at a couple of uh, ruckus access points, an R310 and an R510. Uh, we, we logged into the CLI and we looked at the current firmware versions that were on uh, these access points. And then we kind of showed the process to um, establish a connection to a smart zone controller via CLI commands. Uh, right now, what we're looking at, uh, we've got a couple of access points now showing up in the staging zone from those commands. Um, and in the video stream that we see, we've got two access points sitting on top of each other. We've got an R310 on the top. We've got an R510 on the bottom. We can see that the control LEDs for both of these are currently doing a slow green blink. So what we're going to do is kind of <clears throat> look at the process for moving these things into a zone uh, and take a look at kind of what happens when we do that from a firmware and from an LED perspective. So right now, these APs are sitting in the staging zone, which means they're not assigned to any WLANs. Um, they're just ready to be deployed into the smart zone system. Uh, we're going to be deploying them into the demo zone one, which is under the demo domain. Uh, I want to just briefly take a look at the settings of this zone, just so we can see kind of what's going to be applied to access points that join this zone. Uh, the first thing that we can see is the AP firmware version. So the AP firmware version in this zone is what will be deployed to these APs after they join this zone. So they should have a AP firmware 5200-1412. Um, and there's a process that they take to, to establish that firmware once they join the zone. They're rebooted a couple of times and both partitions are updated with that firmware. Um, the APs also will change their admin logon credentials based on what's defined here in the zone. So um, these this username and password will be then what is used to SSH to these access points uh, after they've joined the zone and, and had the zone configuration pushed to them. Uh, there's also some radio options that would get applied to APs in this zone. So currently we have all of the channels available for use. Um, they're kind of set up to do auto uh, channel selection um, and um, we're not adjusting any of the power stuff. It is set to full uh, here. So if we had auto cell sizing or something enabled that would get uh, push to the AP as well. So let's uh, we're going to cancel out of this. So we're going to navigate back over to the staging zone and we're going to move the Ruckus R310. So that is the AP that's currently on the top. You can see that the control LED is doing a slow flash green. So we're going to select it. We've got it highlighted here. We're going to choose move. We're then going to put it into demo zone one and choose OK. It's going to ask us to confirm this move. We're going to choose yes. And you can see that that AP is now moved out of the staging zone. So if we flip back over to demo zone one, we can see that the R310 AP now shows up under demo zone one. Um, what should be happening now is firmware from the smart zone should be being applied. Uh, configuration for this zone should be being applied. And we can kind of take a look at the LEDs to see that process. We should see some fast blanks here, which we are seeing now, um, to indicate that there's communication happening, firmware pushes, um, and configuration updates. If we click on the AP itself and then choose the event tab, we should start to see some of this stuff as well. So we can see that the AP was approved by Virtual Smart Zone, um, and then it went right to a disconnected. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just hang tight here for a little bit and come back once the processes have finished uh, and just kind of take a look overall at what occurred.
So the AP has finished updating and applying firmware and pushing configurations. Uh, we've updated the event tab and we can see that those processes have logged in the events. So we can see at the bottom here, we had the firmware update. Uh, we had a heartbeat loss from it rebooting and then it pushed firmware to the other image bank and then applied the AP configuration from the zone. Uh, there is a WLAN that was associated with that zone, so it enabled that uh, and then updated the configuration on the AP again and then turned on the radios um, to get that WLAN propagated from that AP. So there were several transition states uh, for the LEDs that we observed while this was happening. So um, as it was waiting to be let into a zone, it had a slow control LED blink. Uh, as soon as we moved it into the demo zone one, uh, we noticed that that LED went to a fast blink uh, and then it rebooted because it was pushing the firmware configuration. Uh, and then it then went back to a slow blink to wait for that second configuration update where it switched back to the fast blink and then went back to a slow blink uh, and then we saw the radio lights come on um, and they turned amber. Amber, uh, And then shortly after that, the control LED went solid, meaning this AP is now fully managed um, and has the firmware and the configuration from the AP. Additional configuration updates. So if we were to change some stuff under a zone uh, and, uh, and, and save it, it would push that back out. And we might see that control LED fast blink again while it's pushing that configuration. So... As we stand, control LED is solid green. We have uh, amber LEDs on the 5 gig and 2.4 gig radios. Uh, this is normal. This just means that the radios are up, um, but there's no clients connected. Once clients connect to those radios, uh, they turn to a green LED. Remember now that we uh, pushed a configuration over that had a different username and password applied, to the AP for the SSH, we now have to log in with those credentials. So let's log in um, with those credentials and let's take a look at get SCG and we can now see that our AP is managed, it's enabled, we have the list of the server here, we see the state is in a run state. Uh, let's do also a firmware show all. We can now see that both of these image banks, both image one, uh, it has the 5200-1412 code. So at this point, we've verified that the AP has been onboarded and, and put into the demo zone uh, successfully. It's now able to um, propagate those WLANs for that zone and accept client connections. Uh, the process for the R510 would be similar. So um, look forward to joining us for the next video so we can discuss more of smart zone features and functionality. Thank you for taking the time to view this demonstration.